soil impacts our health and the way we grow our food, the way we look after our backyards, our front yards, our parks, our school grounds, our baseball diamonds, our track and fields, our parks that our dogs play in impact soil health. I am sitting in a park in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. One of the cool things about Edmonton, Alberta is they pass a policy uh, a few years ago, I think in 2015, to not use chemicals to control the weeds, except for with special uh, permission use cases, except for golf courses. Unfortunately, they can still use as whatever they want on golf courses that's legal of course um, but this this park that I'm sitting in is really cool because all around the park I can find plantain which is a medicinal plant there is lots of dandelion which we all know is great in salad and one of our favorites thistle maybe not your favorite though because it's kind of prickly and it hurts if you uh, brush up against it but it's also great in green powders and uh, you can even juice it this park is not sprayed with uh, herbicides or, or glyphosate or anything to kill the weeds. And what that means is it creates a, a healthy environment for our pets to play in, which you can hear in the background. And it creates a healthy environment for the water behind me. It's not gonna kill off all the natural living organisms. And it's also building an, a safe place for the soil to thrive and sequester carbon and to give back and work in harmony with the earth and its surroundings. When we use agrochemicals and chemicals to control the weeds and to control pests in our farming practices and in our front yards and our backyards and in our cities and communities, we're actually killing the soil food web, which we are learning is a really important part of contributing to our health. We're learning that the gut biome, our gut biome is really important in our human health and in the health of our pets and our animals and when we are consuming food that is grown from soil that's been desiccated by agrochemicals we're eating food that is lower in soil biology in microbiology healthy food literally inoculates our body with health and healthy soil literally inoculates the earth with health. Issue five of Heart and Soil magazine is all about soil health and how the health of the soil, the way we're growing our food is impacting our environment. The way we're looking after our backyards, front yards and parks is impacting our soil and our health. The health of our planet, the health of our pets, the health of our animals. It all is all connected. Our contributors for issue five are amazing. They share their heart and soul, their resources, tips, and strategies on how we can build our soil rather than kill our soil and how we can take back agency in our health and build our health rather than killing our health with chronic disease and chronic illness. I'm really excited to be a part of this conversation with you because if you're watching this video, I know you're a difference maker. I know that you care about the health of the planet, the health of our soil, the health of yourself, the health of your family, the health of your children, the health of your friends, the health of your pets, the animals, and all living organisms on this earth. I'm Natalie Forsbauer, founder and editor-in-chief of Heart and Soil Magazine. If you haven't got your subscription yet, head on over to heartandsoulmagazine.com and get yours for just $39.99 a year. You make yourself an amazing day. I'm really excited to be on this journey with you. Big love.